Hello everyone, it's Lillian here from Stamper's Niche and I've had so many of you ask me to please go over how to tie a bow. So I think so often what happens is we psych ourselves out with bow tying and if you can tie your shoes, you can tie a bow. But I'm going to just show you a few little tips and tricks. Um, at one point, I'm going to show you how this helps me with tying bows. But I'm going to start off with just basic tying a bow um, just with my hands and with the ribbon. So the people who've asked me to do this said, please go slowly and please do it over and over again. So the other thing to remember is because this is taped, you can pause and stop it anytime. Now I'm right-handed and you will do it your way. You will figure it out. But there are, <coughs> pardon me, a few ways of doing it. Myself, I like to just make a little loop, just as if I was starting to tie my shoes. Take the other one, wrap it around, and I try to keep that smooth if I can. And then I just tuck that through the loop and give it a little tug. And then now it looks pretty wonky and that's pretty normal. But to adjust it, I hang on to this middle piece right here and just pull the tails until I get it the way that I want it to be. And you, you kind of have to always play with it a little bit. It's not going to happen the first time around. And just like that, you have a little bow. And then you're just going to snip it off and you can adjust the tails however you want afterwards. But you've got that idea. Then I fasten it onto my, my project with a mini glue dot. So there's one way and that is likely my go-to way other than with this. Um, but there are other ways. What if I showed you how to do it with bunny ears? So this is how a lot of people do it. They make a loop with one hand. They make a loop with another hand. They put one of those loops over the other and wrap it around and bring it through the opening. This one I haven't practiced as much and then pull, and again, you've got your bow. A little wonky, but again, hang on to the middle, adjust it to be whatever you would like, and it's often best not to pull it tight, tight till you get everything in place, and just like that, you have a bow for your project. So, let's take a look at, oh, you know what? People said do it more than once. So I better go back and I'm going to do the first way. So I just made a loop. I'm using this big thick ribbon now. I'm wrapping it around, bringing it back, put, making kind of a, my, a, it's looping over my finger, giving it a little push through. And look at how it's twisting. I'm untwisting it. That's called troubleshooting. Then giving it a pull and then adjusting it so that it looks the way I want it to look. And sometimes I pull it apart and start all over again. That's pretty normal, but there you go. All right, so let's pull in this little contraption. Now, I call this the bow making tool. Um, a friend made this for me many, many years ago. Why it has holes so you can adjust um, you, the width of your bow. You can adjust your size. So those little holes on this particular one are about, ooh, let's see, maybe half an inch apart, um, but it can be whatever you want. So let's make it, and this one didn't fit quite right, so it just has a bit of tape around it to make it um, fit more snugly. And then there's stuff on the bottom so that it doesn't skid. But let's bring in, let's bring back in, um, let's bring in the, the black and white. So to do this, what I do is I wrap it around like a collar. So 
it's just it's on the other side of the pegs that's all it is so it's on the other side of the t pegs I'm bringing it towards me I'm crossing it over so I say it looks now like the breast cancer symbol a little bit right so this one that's on top it's going to go down underneath all the way to the back so now it looks like this then I'm going to bring it on top bringing it to the front and now I'm going to just put it through okay there we go like that and pull it off well don't pull the peg out and then I've got a perfect little bow like that now this one if you want to adjust the the, the loops a little bit you're going to just pull on the loops uh, the tails are not what's going to adjust this so there we go we've got it just like that and if I wanted to take it apart I would have to untie the knot and go like that so let's make a bigger one let's go like this and just watching again so it's going to the back coming to the front one side and I always leave my ribbon on the spool in case I need more but one side so the side that's not on the spool is going over top so now we have what looks like the breast cancer symbol now the one on the top is going to dive down and under come back and then you're just going to tie a single knot pull it through like that take it off your holder and there you go you've got it just like that so let's try that with a diff different ribbon so we'll put this over here starting at the back one side over the other that's going to go down underneath all the way to the back then come over and then just go through and tie a single knot. And just like that, you have this gorgeous bow. Does it work with, with the bigger? Yes, it does. Does it work with twine? Yes, it does. And I'm going to make this a smidge smaller. Say, for example, if I wanted double the twine. So I wanted a double bow, I would just give myself not one but two strands to work with again wrap it around bring it to the front the top one is going to dive down go through the pegs come back up and then just tie a single knot i try to move it so it's somewhat in the middle but if it isn't in the middle, you can always pull these ends here and then just bring in your scissors and snip away. And now we have a double one, right? Like that. So that, that works beautifully. What if you don't have one of these and you don't know anyone who can make you one? Well, I've seen people use things like a fork. Now, this is a carving fork, but you can, again, whoops, I've got things, I've got stuff all over the place here. So you can wrap it around. This is a little harder because I'm trying to do it midair. Make your, your breast cancer symbol, dive down, back to the front, and tie your knot and you would have your bow. So you can do it with a fork. You can do it with chopsticks. You just need something to anchor your chopsticks in and maybe something to um, put in between to hold them. Some people use an elastic at the end and then put in a, an a eraser or something in here, whatever. If you have really wide, 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 wide ribbon, way wider than stamping up cells, I saw on Facebook someone use their feet. They wrapped, you know, that really wide gift wrapping ribbon. They wrapped it around their feet, but did the same principle and uh, were able to tie a bow that way. So let's do it 
one more time. Let's use this really wide one now. And I'm going to widen this out a bit, just like that. So again, it's behind, loop it over, down underneath to the back, just like that. Bring it to the front, tie a little single knot, slide it off, and there you go. So I hope that helps you with your bow tying. Um, it helps you feel more comfortable with it because after all, sometimes you just need a bow to finish off a project like this one right here. Or here's a double twine bow, uh, two different colors. So just like that, and it just finishes that off. Or sometimes, with a sprig of flowers or some leaves or whatever. Somebody once told me, and I can't remember who, that ribbon on a card is like mascara. It just finishes it off or enhances your card, just like mascara enhances your eyes. So I don't know if you agree with that, but I do think that often just that touch of ribbon is just the finishing touch for a card. So go out there, the best thing to do is to play with your ribbon. Give it a whirl, practice, and pretty soon you will find that it's all good to go. If you're on a roll and you find you're tying some beautiful ribbons, just snip and tie some more, stick them onto glue dots, and have a whole row of ribbons ready to go on any project that comes along. So there we go. We've got one, two, three, four... Just while I've been talking, look at all the ribbons we've tied. So have some fun with it. Just remember, don't be scared. You can do it. Take care. Bye-bye.